muscle morphology of cat exercise two on lap six. This is the pectoral girdle here. Then we have the pelvic girdle down here, this right here. Then we have the vertebral column, which is all of this. After that, we have the skull, which is here. Then we have the mandible, which is the lower jaw. We have it on both sides, here and here. Then we have the sternum, which is this one down the middle. Not the actual ribs, but the, the yeah. larger one. Yeah. Do you see it on the video? Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's it. We're at lab six, I'm um, still doing the skeletal morphology. So we're going to start off with the vertebra, which is this whole thing. So um, we can tell if a lumbar because it's towards the back. They're these bigger ones. If you compare this to this, this is small, this is big. Um, and it has this solid part right here. And compared to the cervical, which is all the way up here, which if you look, has these two little holes. Do you see it on the video? Yeah. It has this little hole. So that's cervical and it's towards the top. And thoracic, this is right here, it has these really pointy ones, whereas the other one don't, not that pointy. So it's a small body and a pointy part. It's the middle. Uh, that's thoracic. Now, for the atlas, it's the first vertebral, um, I'm sorry, the first cervical um, bone of the vertebral column. And then the second one is the atlas. Axis, sorry. So we have atlas and axis. The atlas is the first, the second is the axis. Okay. Um, and then the sacrum is the last one. If you can tell, it has those two little holes and the spiny processes at the top. That's the sacrum. Okay, that's the last one. Now we're going to go on to the limb bones. Um, so we have the ribs here. Everybody knows the ribs. Um, these are the scapula. Okay. The shoulder bones. Then we have the humerus. And you can tell that it's the humerus. It looks very similar to this one, um, but it's not because it has this little uh, frame. In. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the humerus. After that, we have the radius. And we know it's the radius because of this pointy process, and it has a flat top. Do you see that? Okay. The next one is going to be the ulna. And we know it's the ulna because it has this process right here. It looks like a hook. Do you see that? Yep. Okay. The next one is going to be the femur. We know it's the femur because it's the thickest. It has this head over here, whereas this one doesn't. Okay. It has the head and um, what else? How do you know? And it has the space for the patella. So you see like that? Right. You can imagine the patella there. The next one we have is the tibia. And you know it's the tibia because it has this process right here, which is called the... Medea <laughs> malleolus, and the, the part that you can tell the most is because most of the bones are round, and this one has this process that looks like a spine almost. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And the last one is the fibula, which is a really, really thin one. It's not even. It's really thin. It looks like a, almost like a fish bone. Right. So the last one we have is the anemone bone. And you know that that is that because it has this. Uh, this is the. This is the ilium. This right here is the ischium. It has a spinous, this uh, hole in here, which is called the acetabulum, and this frame right here. All right. Okay. Okay. That's it. All right.